everyone, I'm Brian Lewis and I teach in the English Department and Women and Gender Studies at Century College. And today I'm going to show you how to get started with eFolio. And the first thing that you need to do is obviously you want to open your internet browser where you'll be on the Century College website www.century.edu and the first place you want to go is the eFolio Minnesota website and it's www.efoliomn.com and then hit return and you should come to this particular site right here. Another thing I want to point out before I get too far with this is that eFolio has really good online support and if you ever have any questions or problems with eFolio, all you have to do is click on the online support link right here and it will take you to an eFolio custom help area. And there are a lot of different things you could do. You could ask a question, you could use a web chat, you can see the most common questions that are asked here. And also what's really good is they have telephone help available um, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 to 3.30 Saturday, Sunday, and there's an online support number that you can call. And what's really nice in my experience is you get actual live people answering instead of just a machine, so it's really very convenient. Now I'm going to show you how to actually sign up for eFolio Minnesota. Um, see where it says sign up right here on this button that's where you want to get started. So I'm going to click sign up and then there's another button right here that says sign up. That's where you want to start and we do want to allow this so I'm going to click yes and this is the site where you sign up for eFolio. The first thing you need to do is click continue. This is the terms and conditions for the eFolio website. Essentially just to summarize on this, you're agreeing not to sell anything on the site, you're agreeing not to post anything um, illicit and you, you know that you're using it for a specific academic or professional purpose. So as long as you accept the terms of the agreement you want to click continue there. Sign up code I would just click continue I don't really use this personally. Um, if you're a student click student if you are a professional person, such as a faculty member, I would click professional. Uh, today I'm going to set one up as a student, so I'm going to leave it on student and just click continue. Over 18, now this is a really interesting issue. Probably most of you are over 18 and this is not a problem, but there are some of you perhaps who might be PSEO students who are under 18, and in that case what's going to happen is eFolio is going to password protect your site um, and people who um, get into your site can only access it through a password. So um, I'm not going to go over the password protect right now um, since probably 95% of eFolio users at Century College are over 18. I'm just going to assume that, um, that you are. So I'm just going to click yes for over 18. Now here's a form that you need to fill out and I'm going to fill it out with you. You have to provide the details in bold at least and I'm just going to fill this out. You want to start with your email address and then type your email address just to confirm it. I'm not going to put my real name here simply because I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm just putting John Smith pretty generic name. Postal code, where I live. Um, you, can, you can answer some of these questions but you don't have to. At least I'm just going to fill out the ones in bold here specifically. Password, it's good to have both letters and numbers in your password. I usually have a password that's about 8 to 12 characters in length. This one has eight in particular and it has both numbers and letters in it. So um, notice that I have filled out all the bold areas of this form and so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to click continue 
and it allows me to review my details. And then it, um, the system asks me to type in a couple words here. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll click Save. And it says, I have successfully created an um, eFolio Minnesota account. And then it says, an eFolio has been sent containing your content details. So I have a choice now. I can directly log in to my account, or I can go look at my email.